Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back. This is part nine of my video series outlining the first year of ownership with a used Mercedes-Benz product out of warranty. I want to welcome you to another uh, crappy, icy, snowy Midwest day in January. Um, our last video outlined uh, some of the features of the formatic system in snow travel and I apologize for this video this video being a little bit late but I've had a heck of a week um, I planned on making this video earlier this week and early in the morning I had woke up and headed to work and it was kind of raining and slushy and nasty and I came over a hill in the dark at about 5 a.m. and struck a pothole as I was trying to avoid the typical potholes on the right side of the road. So I struck one closer to the center of the road. So that was my luck. And I've hit a couple of potholes in my life, but this one actually sounded like a grenade went off under my car. It was pretty bad. So that destroyed the sidewall of the Pirelli immediately and basically rendered my car useless so I was unable to video anything earlier this week but I have since returned there's no damage um, crazy enough there's no damage because I hit it hard I thought that I would end up turning that into insurance um, because it was almost like an accident as hard as it hit, but the aromatic suspension took it like a champ. Um, there's a little scuffing on the wheel, but the outer rim is perfect. Um, there's no cracks, everything's perfectly round. So when I had new tires put on uh, earlier this week, they had actually crimped down that particular wheel, believe it or not, a little too tight on their balancing machine or they didn't use the right uh, fastener for their balancing machine or something because they actually rubbed some of the finish off on the driver's side front which is where the the damage was from the pothole and the tire dealer which is actually discount tire here in st joseph missouri well we're not in st joseph missouri right now but uh, we're actually in Wafina, kansas right now but uh, Discount Tire in St. Joseph, Missouri said that they would just refinish the wheel. And I said, you don't owe me that because the wheel came in damaged, but they damaged it further, so they said they're going to take care of it. So we'll see what happens there, but sounds like good service from them. But I went ahead and had them put all new tires on, so I went with a, uh, it's a Goodyear Eagle all season. And I know it's not a fair comparison because the tires that I had in, on here before, they were uh, Pirelli P0 Nero's and they're a summer tire, and they had some mileage on them. So I know it's not fair to say, oh, these tires are so much better than those, because those were used tires and these are brand new. I understand that. But let me tell you, it is heads and shoulders different. The ride quality, how smooth these tires are, how quiet these tires are. I picked up a lot of road noise with those Pirellis, and that was kind of typical of uh, you know what I read about those Pirelli P zeros and a lot of people say that they're just kind of a noisy tire and of course we're driving through slush now so it's it's not uh, it's not ideal uh, for you to listen to but you can probably hear us crunching through the slush but these tires uh, on dry pavement believe me are very very quiet and I just didn't have that same experience with the Pirellis now they're a little bit more aggressive summer tire and of course they were used uh, probably had about 70 maybe 60 percent tread left so and that makes tires a little bit noisy uh, as well so I understand that but I'm very impressed with these Goodyear Eagle uh, all season tires um, they're not the cheapest out there but I wasn't looking for the cheapest I was looking for something something really really quiet and comfortable and these seem to have really good reviews so um, after uh, after getting the tires repaired and getting back on the road I decided that I was gonna go ahead and film again and my mount broke 
Uh, so I'm actually, uh, I, I thought, well, I'll just get a new mount, and this was uh, yesterday, and, uh, you know, I'd have to order one off Amazon or eBay, and it'd probably be next week before I'd film, so I, I've had a few of you guys that have asked, you know, uh, multiple times, you know, hey, can't wait to see the next video, or hey, you know, when, when are you planning on, and, and I love that, I appreciate that, because that means that you guys are, are you, you know, you feel informed, and that you guys appreciate these videos, and I really appreciate that. So thank you for, for looking forward to the next installment. Um, hopefully there's some value for some people. It'll help kind of help help people know what to expect whenever you're buying one of these cars out of warranty. And that's that's the whole reason why I started doing this. So it's, it's nice to hear that you guys have been looking forward to the next videos. Uh, that means a lot to me. So I appreciate it. But yeah, the mount just wasn't working with me. It kept, it wasn't holding my phone in place. It kept falling down and... I think it's just starting to get wore out. It was a cheap one that I got off of eBay, and, and uh, I've made, well, this is the ninth video, and so right now, if, if you're not pleased with the with what you're seeing, I apologize. I actually kind of have it stuck to the windshield and then kind of sitting on the dash. That way it doesn't fall forward. So that's about all I can do for now, but I promise you before we do uh, video number 10, I will have a new mount, so we won't be able to, uh, or so we'll be able to, to film without just laying it on the dashboard like this but hopefully everything comes through okay and it's not not uh, shaking or making a lot of noise vibrating up against the dash or anything but um, so that's kind of how the week has gone uh, as far as the car goes um, from what I said you can probably tell that I'm I'm rather impressed with the uh, aromatic suspension uh, the durability of the aromatic suspension at least because I hit that pothole very, very hard, and the suspension absorbed it, the tire didn't, the tire was destroyed, and we replaced the tires, and basically we're, the car, is, the alignment, I will probably go ahead and have checked, just in case, but uh, that's just, you know, a provisional, that's just, uh, just to make sure because I, there's absolutely nothing that tells me that the alignment's going to be bad or that it's going to need adjusted or anything. The car drives perfectly straight. I let go, I've let go of the steering wheel right now. I'm not touching it at all. It drives just as it did before. It's smooth. It's still quiet. There's no unusual squeaks, no rattles. Uh, and again, no pulling to the left or right. Uh, but just, just to have it checked, I will go ahead and do that because I don't want to go through and prematurely wear out, uh, you know, one of my brand new front tires. So that's really what we have on the agenda. Probably going to throw it on an alignment rack and make sure everything's good after the pothole. But the car seems to have absorbed it like a champ. Uh, I am a believer in the durability of this aromatic suspension because that was definitely a whoopsie moment that could have gone really, really bad. But uh, doesn't seem to have sustained any damage at all. So I'm really impressed with that. Car is doing great otherwise. Love the new tires. And hopefully we can uh, start to get into a little bit warmer, nicer weather before I see you guys next. But uh, until then, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please tune in next time and have a nice day.